if your footage looks like this, well, no worries, because in this video, I'm gonna be going over a few different ways that you can actually take out the green tone inside your videos. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John, the video guy, and on this channel, I have Premiere Pro and After Effects tutorials. So if this is helpful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Now I'm inside Premiere Pro and I have this imported clip and as you can see there's quite a bit of green overcast in the footage. And what you'll want to do first is click on the footage and change your workspace to color by going up to the workspaces button and go to color. And then to the right the first area that I would go to is under basic color correction. Now what you'll notice is that there's a white balance area and you know this works if there's a white area on your screen. For example here he's wearing a white shirt. So what you could do if you have something white in your screen, you can click this eyedropper tool and click, like, say, on the collar of a shirt. And Premiere Pro will work on trying to fix the footage. Here, it did a pretty nice job. But what if you don't have anything white in your footage? Well, you can actually mess with the sliders down below. I'm going to undo this and delete the effect and effects controls. And then back here, what you can do is first mess with the tint slider. You can add more magenta to get rid of the green overcast. You can also make it a little bit warmer as well. And that's looking pretty good. Now, if this doesn't work, there's one other technique that I'll show you where you can actually really manipulate the green values inside Premiere Pro. So with the clip selected and inside Lumetri Color, go to the Curves tab. And this is very helpful for really fine tuning each color of a clip. What you'll notice here under RGB Curves is that there's four different circles. You can click on the green circle and you have complete control over the green values. Now what this curve represents here is the bottom left is the dark areas and the top right is the highlights. And in the middle are the midtones. So you'll see if we click and drag in the middle here, we're bringing green out of the midtones. Now in this case, you'll probably want to bring green out of both the midtones and the highs and the lows. So what you can do is click and drag the bottom left to bring in the darks and the top right to bring in the highlights. And you notice that we're slowly getting rid of the green overcast in this image here by just kind of knocking down the green values a little bit. And you can actually see this in work if you go to Lumetri Scopes and you change your waveform settings to RGB Parade. When you toggle the effects you can actually see that the green values are actually being shifted down. The green values are getting closer to the red and blue. So this is a good reference point if you want to make fine-tuned adjustments here. And on the same note, you can actually go to red and increase the red. For example, the highlights of the red could probably get increased a little bit. Trying to match these three colors here. So after messing with curves, this is the final result I got. Not bad for color correcting green overcast footage. So that's how you fix the footage. If you want to learn a little bit more about Lumetri Color and how to work with the controls, I go into a little bit more detail in this video right up there. Feel free to go watch that if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful and take care and we'll see you next time.